we allow to travel and uh, to have the medical. Things are really going in into a good direction, so I think sooner rather than later, things will be finalized. This club uh, is very respectful with, with the players, and especially with the players that, uh, that wrote an history in this club. I think, and I still think, be important for us. Of course, he's a fantastic player, and uh, I feel sorry that I didn't make him happy. But football is football, and uh, I build a team around. Uh, so many memories with Chelsea. How can I forget? How is it possible? Sanderson, you must forget that. You are now part of Juventus. They took a chance on you. They took a chance on a broken player. Give your heart to this club. They deserve it. You know what, Dad? You're right. This is my new club. Turin is my new home. And I'll defend it. I'll defend my new home. And my new supporters. Because week in and week out, they come out and support us. Plus, I want to be a role model. Not just for this generation, but for the next. Dad, thank you. So, Coppa Italia going up against Roma. This is our first real test of the season. How would the fans react? everybody gathering around Roma fans and Juventus fans alike to see the beginning of a new season and Sanderson Sanderson can't wait as we approach the whistle nervousness kicks in but there's no time for that it's time to play so let's go ahead and kick off from the beginning Roma looked nervous and Juventus with Sanderson at the helm looked that they were ready for war Sanderson as you can see right here He's just taking command of that middle, putting passes in for his forwards, but fortunately they weren't able to finish. Sanderson coming back on the fence because he does it all. He's, he's evolved his game into where he can play offense and he can switch back to defense immediately. Minute 10, he puts it in for, Te for Tevez, but it's blocked once again. Roma, if anything, they were defending very well. And you can see Sanderson right here coming back and, and, and defending once again. Minute 27, there's a harsh tackle, but... Doesn't matter, he gets right back up and charges right back on defense. Minute 30, Sanderson taking the ball again and he's just showing that he's an all-around player. He doesn't want to just be known for, for attack. And in Chelsea, a lot of the times, that's where he lacked that. He didn't really have defense. So maybe now in a different system, in a league that's characterized by a lot of defense, he could learn. He could learn how to come back he can learn how to be more aggressive than he already is. And maybe, just maybe, get a little bit stronger. Here, minute 38, Juventus has a chance for a cross from Tevez from a free kick. He sends it in and look who's over there wide. No. He misses. He's just short to connect with the header. Here, again, Sanderson with an amazing header, but it's a save by the keeper. And the score remains nil, nil. Juventus, after all the attacking they've done, they just cannot get in. Roma now waking up, trying to get in there with crosses. But unfortunately for them, the half would end nil-nil. And this is looking like war. Now as Sanderson is walking back to the dressing room, any player would say, we're drawn, we're doing all right, we're attacking pretty good. But for Sanderson, he really wants to make an impact in front of the crowd. And even though they're, they're they have better possession, they have more shots, it's still not enough. It wouldn't matter, because at the beginning of the half, here comes Llorente, fleet-footed, and gets a goal, and it's now 1-0 for Juventus. And finally, it looks, it looks like they're on their way to a title. So for Sanderson to win his first trophy in his first official game for Juventus, that would be huge, but Roma would not go down easy. 
and and in the second half they just started coming cross after cross sanderson right here trying to defend trying to keep this lead intact minute 67 it'll be all sanderson as he shoots it and coolly finishes to make it 2-0 and make it almost a possibility now almost a strong possibility that juventus is gonna walk out i'm sorry that juventus is gonna walk out of here with their first trophy of the season minute 70 roma still not giving up giuseppe rossi an old teammate of sanderson trying to get involved but it just wasn't enough as you can see right there again another header but it ends 2-0 juventus first trophy of the season sanderson celebrating with all the fans now because this is his home this is where he's gonna make his stand and if he ever has to go against other comrades in battle in another game he's gonna have to let them know that it was a mistake he's one of the best players in the world and he's here to prove it a 9.4 match rating look at these stats they were pretty even in the second half, but still Juventus manages to walk away with him. He would have three long weeks of rest until Catania. The first game of the official Serie A season. And the first game playing here in, in Juventus Stadium in front of all of the fans. And this game should be easy. Fairly easy. Right off the gates. Here comes Juventus, but then Catania wakes up like in minute seven and they just start coming so an easy game this was supposed to be an easy opener for sanderson to show some of his skills for juventus to come in and just dominate but catania were not going down easy and the whole first half they dominated but here minute 28 sanderson gives it to tevez he gives it right back and here comes sanderson for his first goal but the touch the touch deceives him they don't get the goal and Catania goes out there immediately to defend Sanderson with another opportunity but a very very poor shot and here comes Catania once again they were all over Juventus uh, it goes nil nil into the half and Sanderson they, they, he doesn't understand it there there's no fatigue there's no factors really for this poor scoreline because they had about three weeks of rest they should be dominating but here they're forced into defense immediately in the second half and oh it would get hard for Juventus but where there's a will there's a way and Sanderson gives it to Pogba he didn't get a goal but he did get an assist and it's 1-0 for Juve with an assist from Sanderson Pogba being the the, the recipient of that magical pass and that would be it. Catania would really lose their strength after that. And Sanderson takes his first win of the season. And he also has his first trophy of the season. Even though he didn't play amazing, he still played seven. He still had a 7.9 match rating. As we go into the end of the transfer window, and they did pick up Mignolet. Juventus picked up Mignolet. They didn't have a keeper because uh, Gigi Buffon is long gone from Juventus now. And that's it. Up next. World Cup qualifiers, and it's against Brazil. How is Sanderson gonna fare? Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like as it helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Other than that, it's been your boy Full Metal, and you know the rest. Deuces.